Hello boys and girls, welcome to peek over my shoulder as I am new visioning all over Nearfield. We have gathered here... Who's this? Very suspicious dude. Right. Uh, we are right now, we are the very same spot as we were at the beginning of the game. Oh, there it is again. And at the end of the previous episode I accidentally clicked something. Uh, something that would uh, allow me to eavesdrop. And uh, namely we need to eavesdrop on uh, on the girl who stole our ID at the very beginning of uh, the game because she's been approached by princess's agents which is like highly suspicious and stuff location 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 ah so this this dude is coming from here yeah, so this is the Carl from the future, and the Carl from the beginning of the game went right in and and is doing everything to get himself in trouble. Can we come here? out of it or something. Something either in my inventory or up here, something gave me the info that I have the technology to eavesdrop. Yo. Hey, ps. Dropping, I guess. Do we do we get anything else from here? Okay. Yeah, the the 
difficult part now is that because I clicked on the wrong thing in the wrong time, I have no idea what what it is that should provide me the eavesdropping thing. Is it something in my car? Paper books, eh? I hear <laughs> vintage media is hot with the kids nowadays. I prefer to refer to myself as a new Luddite. I don't wear <laughs> brass monocles and reprinted media as an anachronistic fashion statement, but rather abstain from certain technology and uses thereof that are problematic on an individual and societal level. Technologies such as data stealing social media, meaningless escapist games and movies, Anything powered by fossil fuel, most pharmaceuticals, and pure virtual reality. Most. Oh, yeah. My first college girlfriend said the same thing. I hate stupid tech like smart cigarettes and nicotine quotas. Did you happen to see or hear anything exchanged between that UK punk chick bot and those two suit and shades? Are you a paid henchman of the coercive corporate state? What? Are you a cop? No, but nice of you to ask. Most people just assume I'm a boy in blue going undercover as a bottom-rung bureaucrat. You're welcome, but I still need proof that you're not a cop. Looking for a micro tokamak fusion cell for a T1138. What? Goodbye, Mr. Police Officer. I'm taking the fifth. Damn it! Wrong puzzle. <laughs> Son of a Good I one, Chris. Some other way. Maybe some moolah. Money talks, as they say. Okay. Could you? Are you a Are you? No. You're welcome. Hey, I'm not a cop. Just ask my friends. Washington, <laughs> Eisenhower, and Hamilton. Get yourself a small Starbucks coffee. Real cops who have envelopes of unmarked hundreds of bribe money. Not just a couple sad handfuls of petty coins. This is sure proof that you're an officer of the law. I you're didn't hear welcome. anything specific, but it sounded like the agents wanted the sentient silicon to enter their vehicle. Siliconth? That's the politically correct term for a sentient humanoid machine. A cock is an entity whose substrate is silicon rather than carbon. Silicon. Right. So the agents wanted to apprehend the bot girl, uh, female silicon. Did she put up a struggle? Not really. Stratoplexy and government powers generally take any silicon or chimera or lower class human at will, without cause of suspicion. It was as though the agents and the girl were working together. There was a disagreement. This is all really helpful. Uh, for my dissertation on the uh, post-anthropological <laughs> study on interspecies inequality and power relationism. I've got an honorary doctorate in that from the University of New Cambridge. <laughs> what? Why aren't you a professor or something? I was genetically engineered for academic study, but it went out of fashion to have mixed species sentient on university faculties after the transgenic immigration became a problem. You're not alone. It went out of fashion to have non-corrupt cops in the CPD even before that. Okay, let me maybe save. So if the uh, if the Robopunk is of the kind that uh, changes their appearance uh, very easily, 
there is some food for thought and also the uh, uh, also I have I have other thoughts I'm, I'm not gonna speak to it right now Yank. oh we have some coins left Fixing and uh, and uh, do dadding. You should also totally check out a prototype or a demo uh, for Chris's new game. I believe the new uh, the new title is Dismaton. The working title was uh, Forgotten City, and it was inspired by a experimental short story that Knox wrote and. And Nox and I actually helped to put together some the script. And why I remember this right now is that there is a very sweet scene there when uh, the protagonist has to, uh, well, use some multi tools on something, and uh, the uh, and the multi tool use has a pretty sweet animation. And this reminded me of that. Oh, welcome. Anyway, let's. Maybe ask for the headphones. Oh, of course. That's why. That's why we still have some money. Hey, uh, do you think I could borrow those headphones? I'll borrow them to you. Headphones for repairing my solar panel. There. Oh, something's wrong with the wiring, but I'm not sure what. Maybe just some bad connections. I'll see what I can do. Funny how that worked out. Okay, I fixed the solar panels. Can I get the headphones? Yay, my laptop's working. Of course, here are the headphones. Whee! And she's still Isn't running the Windows gift 7. economy great? <laughs> Money is the root of so much evil. <laughs> yeah, but, uh... Didn't you just take my cash? Let's call it the flexible <laughs> economy. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, I think it was about the car things the bit that I missed. I don't really know what what the thing was that I needed to So where where was the dish that I was supposed to use? I was clicking somewhere here when the info about uh, about the parabolic antenna arrived. Oh, okay, yeah, it was this one then. Wait, 
what? Out. Okay. You should be more careful with it. You can lose it that way. out though. Okay, so the excess wiring goes first. Put, maybe put those away. Okay. Take this. I guess I don't have to actively uh, mess with the uh, with the antenna. Okay, and she's here. Let's walk here. Hi, aren't you Carl Carbon? How'd you get oh, out here? Okay. Oh shit! Oh, that's too close. Right. Oh, oh sh Foster, 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 foster. Go away. Okay, go behind this corner. Is this like coverage? Hi. Shit. Aren't you Carl Carbon? How'd you get out here? Oh shit. I have to go to my car and hide behind this. Let's try this. I will just trial and error my way through it. Hi. Oh. Aren't you Carl Carbon? How'd you get out here? Oh, shit. Do I need to hide behind shit or yeah, so the car thing didn't seem to work. So let's try this car and get it the next time. Okay, I can hide behind this. Ah uh, no 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 no, don't look at me. I'm, I wasn't even here. You have seen nothing. Okay, now she's behind the corner. 
Uh, hello, help. Okay. Use it, use it, use it. Uh, what do I use it on? Right, let's hope she is preoccupied. We can mm -hmm. use him. He's proven to have no particular loyalty to Coastlandia PD. He even stuck his neck out to help me. He's the perfect candidate for this. His human corporeal form is inefficient, along with his outdated cybernetic, and he's proven mentally unstable. The outer shell of an entity can be upgraded ad infinitum, with negligible cost giving our resources. Yes, yeah, the it's princess, the right all right. That is the rare commodity. Very well. We will commence with the operation with him as the target. Does this Carl Carbon know anything? Carbon knows nothing. We need to keep it that way, for now. Our intelligence reports suggest that the Coke Jobs will be making a move on the Golem Project tonight. Perfect. We should make our grand entrance tonight at Prototype J's hideout during the sting. Whee! Right, so this uh, leads me to the other thought that I held on before. So basically, Jezebel was working for Princess Sybil this entire time. Oh, you dumbass. Jezebel that is means Princess. Sybil knew about the attack at the arcade. The princess was lying to us this entire time. Oh, Proto J was right all along. All of the neo feudals are the same. Even Princess Sybil. We are always just tools, expendable pawns of the powerful. Okay, you tool, listen up. Bef before Sybil can become the princess, you have to save her. Hey, Yo. Carl! So, everything went well in High City, I take it? Yes, I've made preparations for the G8 meeting. All of the pieces of the plan are in place. That's wonderful. How about Proto and I? Are we in place? Yes, uh, you're where you need to be. Did you find anything of interest at Sunshine Apartments? No, not much there. The witnesses were gone or nearly sanitized. Not a mode of evidence. They'd wipe their tracks clean. I did do a quick time hop to this morning, though. Downtown, at Sentient Services. Oh, I see. <laughs> I hope you didn't run into yourself. That could cause a paradox. Destabilize our continuum. Yeah. I've watched enough sci-fi to know time travel can be a hairy business. No, no, I managed to stay out of my own way. That's good. It's the weirdest thing, though. This morning, this humanoid bot girl... Uh, Jezebel. I ran into her on my way into the office. She was in a tight situation, about to lose her house, her benefits, for failing the Gertzel Takeda test. She ended up borrowing my consciousness card, said she had a hack for the machine. That's an all too common story. Did you end up helping her out? Mm. Yeah, I, I did. Could have had my head on the chopping block for it too. But the really weird thing, and I almost feel like it's insomnia or maybe the adrenaline overload over the past day. But I could have sworn I saw Jezebel leave the building and get picked up by two Clinton Bush agents in a sky car. Agents a lot like the ones guarding you at the Capitol. That is super odd. Maybe she got caught for the consciousness fraud and the feds were called in? That's a little overkill though, right? I mean, uh, I had friends who ran with Petty Cybercrime Patrol, and they just used the low city riffraff, blue collar types to handle this sort of stuff. You don't think Jezebel might have been some sort of neo-feudal spy or something, do you? Highly unlikely. Sounds like she was just another silicon down on her luck who happened to nab your card and you turned out to be her good Samaritan. Maybe she had some priors you didn't know about, that's why the big shots were brought in. I said she borrowed my card. I didn't mention anything about her nabbing it. I... uh... Why were your men at Sentient Services this morning, talking to that Jezebel girl? Those weren't my... 
Okay, okay, I can explain, Carl. It's just that... Who was that girl? Is she working with you? It's not what you think. Just take a deep breath and we can figure this out. You knew! You knew about the arcade attack this entire time. You knew we'd be shot at. You knew who I was. You led us to believe you were there to save us, but it was all a ploy just to make us think you were the guardian angel when you were the devil behind the curtain. I'm sorry, Carl. Really, just... I trusted you. I believed in this <laughs> Galate cooperative. Hope and change. I feel so stupid. I helped you with Dr. Gertzel at the Capitol. Almost got myself killed. Now you tell me what the hell is going on here. Bloop, bloop. There's no easy way to do this. You have to see it with your own eyes. Bloop, Please bloop. bring out my humanoid vessel. Oh, it's a peripheral. Not, not literally horror. What the? You had Jezebel killed? What? Did she turn on you after she figured out you were manipulating her too? Is that what's going to happen to Proto and I when we're not useful assets for you anymore? Initiate the transfer. Sorry I lied to you, Carl. I should have brought you in on it earlier, and I'm sorry. What? Uh, who? Uh, what are you? I am Princess Sybil. What? I, I don't understand. This device, it's a TCT, a, a transcranial consciousness transference device. Basically, it moves your consciousness, your soul, whatever makes you you, into another body. That's... That can be done? Of course. The technology is only accessible to the wealthy and powerful, but it definitely exists. Another of Gretzel's triumphs. Why are you talking in that accent? Well, it is me, Sybil. In here, each vessel's neural structures have certain quirks, depending on design. I lived on the low city street for six months in this body, just to see what it was like for the underclasses. Wait... So... What are you trying to tell me? But you were... Yes, Carl. I was Jezebel. I was in this body this morning. I picked your consciousness card up. I asked you for help. So you don't actually have a baby bot to feed? <laughs> All of that was a lie? Please, Carl. I, I needed someone on the inside at Sentient Services. Someone who would be able to find Proto-J before the cloak jobs. Someone I could trust. I risked my job, risked my life for you, and it was all a big joke? How could you do this to me? I'm so sorry, Carl. I know it was wrong, but... But since we were working under the radar and on a tight schedule, I didn't know any other way to vet you. I had sifted through dozens of dossiers to find the right candidate for this job, and with your top-notch detective work and the fact that you had been vilified, outcast by the system, you would be the perfect person to help change it. I wanted to bring you into the Egalite Cooperative sooner, but I had to know that you really, truly cared about helping out all people, humans, robots, chimeras. When you risked your job to help a poor, non-human, single mum, I knew that you were a good man, inside. I knew <laughs> I could trust you to carry out our mission. You passed the test, Carl. Passed the test? This was not some neural scan, some multiple choice exam. That trigger-happy species this guard could have killed me! I made a mistake. It was reckless and stupid, and I regret putting you at risk. And the arcade? You knew about the attack that would happen there? I didn't know the exact time they would attack, and I needed you to locate Proto-J first. Something that all the biggest players have spent billions and sent whole armies out to do. That is why I hired you. I was hoping to pull you out as soon as you located Proto-J, but I couldn't reveal myself too soon, or the coke jobs would have figured out our secret plot. The SWAT guys came storming in with assault rifles. 
Proto and I were nearly killed. I'm sorry. I told you I was groomed, that bred, to be an establishment politician. I don't have all of the answers, and I don't always know what I'm doing, but I will make it up to you, I promise. You must believe me, Carl. I'm doing this all for the greater good of all sentience. In the world of neo-feudalism, this is the only way to change things. I don't need a lecture on the greater good right now. I understand, and I also understand if you don't want to continue with us. I'll stick with you. On two conditions. Anything. Just name it. One. I want my family to be taken care of for the rest of their lives. Done. They won't have to worry about money ever again. Two. You never lie, manipulate, or scheme around me again. If I'm on this team, I want to be a fully-fledged member. I want to be a knight, not just another pawn. Absolutely. Ambitious. I swear on my life, I won't betray your trust again. Also, I can arrange for you to be knighted. <laughs> my father is the king, after all. Uh, maybe I'll pass on the knightship. I'm not big on pomp and ceremony. Who needs labels, right? Well, I'd better get back in my default body. Cinderella can't go to the ball without her dress, after all. Swoosh! What's that? Seems like a oh, million years ago, I was just some loser wage slave stuck in traffic down there. Now I'm riding around in a flying car. A flying time machine. Finally got my silver spoon. Up your ass. Oh, okay, so this is where we get to do something. Let's save. Right. I totally, totally love the music. However, during a let's play, I, I tend to keep the music up too loud, and as a result, I, uh, the uh, voiceover is, is not as loud in comparison, so that's why I keep uh, turning it down. Alright, so since Chesapeake is not like uniquely the princess, but, uh, but the, just a version of her, I guess that. That's my other theory out the window, the, the theory that I didn't even get to vocalize. I was, I was going uh, hashtag over, over thinkers anonymous. I was uh, thinking deeper and farther back in time. So I noticed that little girls with the name princess tend to pop up like often. So I was kind of thinking that what if princess was the princess? And and Jezebel uh, was uh, like her natural form, but since they are like both separate too, I guess that doesn't hold up anymore. Okay. <laughs> hey, she isn't down yet. Okay, so is this eight o'clock? Oh, damn, dog! <coughs> this place.
probably smell even more like scorfrat ass in the daytime. Yeah, it does. But I thought your olfactory sensors are busted. Uh, true that. But my imagine imagination code processes be calling up something nasty from these visuals. <laughs> Come on, you guys. We don't have time to waste. The superpositor brought us back within an hour of Noah Gertzel's assassination. We've got to rescue him before the coke jobs show up. Right. We're on it, Sybil. Also, I'm gonna call it that the, uh, the dude who popped out from under the vat I can't remember what, what we had to do here. Uh, the, the dude uh, popped out from, from behind the vat is the professor. Vu. Hello. Well, it's an opener, isn't it? tool that was used to remove it, I guess. just open the door or some shit. <laughs>
go in there. Okay, so the actual entrance is somewhere else. Is it in the core? I suppose not. Do we still have the key though? Oh, okay. Let's just try it on this door. So even if we have unlocked whatever thing we have unlocked, this doesn't actually work. So maybe... Can I... No. So the box is the way in. into the hole. Damn it. the barrel didn't do anything, right? Is there anything else we can interact with or, or do we just need to say the right word to the door? Or maybe we need to examine something again. So this is not the actual entrance, this was just to unlock some shit. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> There's probably a less invasive brute force solution. Come on. Don't be a pussy dog. <laughs> hey, uh, buddy. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. The sound of one hand clapping. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, right now, I, I feel like we have done with what we should have done and the result isn't what it should be of course I don't know so 
putting the key into the lock doesn't seem to work. That's the thing. The shit already unlocked, so I would expect that this door is now open. Unless this is not the actual way in. Uh, back. The key away. Let's walk up here. Can we? Turn it off and on again. Let me try to read the text this time, maybe. interact with the wheel again. Nope. Yeah, like thing thing is I, I'm not certain that this should be happening right now. Like I think we already got this and the door is just being stubborn. Stop! <sighs> okay. Shoot the door open. Hey, yeah, doll! Stand back, my niggas! I mean, there were blue towers before. Although not here. Yeah, bruh! Gangsta puzzle solving for the mob black and win! Giant Franken freak again. Oh, uh, we gonna be this giant techno crab niggas breakfast. Damn, I should have brought my golden bazooka with me. Can't you say it's just painting? Don't worry, more hairs will not harm you. All my creatures, my Nephilim, are inherently peaceful before their corruption by man. <laughs> Yo. Okay, let's save here. Uh, save, trick please. Yo. Let's, let's shoot. Okay. <laughs> Continue. Okay. Take a look. Now then, what can I do for your motley crew of illegal trespassers? Dr. Gertzel, we came back from the future. Uh, uh, we're here to tell you that the Coke Jobs family are sending their people down here to kill you any minute now. The Coke Jobs family? Really? <laughs> That's most intriguing. Really, we, we need to get moving. There's no time. My boy, I have seen into the eye of Brahma. 
as he blinked away 14 billion years. Our world wiped from the eye of God like a pale blue mote of dust in a teardrop. <laughs> I assure you, there is always mm. time. Please, Noah, you must believe us. We've seen your body, shot through the head, right on this very floor in the future. We've time traveled with the superpositor to prevent the coke job soldiers from doing it. You just have to come with us. Ah, Princess Sybil, you've had quite sizable diamond glass slippers to fill, haven't you? But it seems you're coming into them, taking after your father, scheming and plotting and manipulating these poor souls for your <laughs> own benefit. I'm nothing like my father, and you know that, Noah. I was the one who helped you escape your containment cell. You helped me when you saw the benefit, my dear. The asset I would provide your own endeavors. You gave me sanctuary only insofar as I became an indentured servant of your own usurpation plan. I made a mistake, okay? And you were never a slave. You were a free comrade in the <laughs> Galactic Cooperative. I might not have been engaged in a Dorithium and Sephira glass containment cell, but house arrest is not much of an improvement. As much as I respect Galileo, I do not envy his terminal living arrangements. It was for your own protection. Whatever messianic timeline altering scheme you have to win me over, it is not working in this timeline. We're finished talking. Please leave. I don't believe this. He is truly a genius, but he is also one of the most stubborn sentient beings I have ever met. He won't let go of his ego enough to save his own life. <laughs> Maybe I can poke around a little, figure out a way to get him to believe us, or at least talk. I guess. I don't know what to do. Those coke jobs thugs are coming soon. I mean, I sh should sh show him the broken phone.
Hello. Haha. <laughs> nice painting. The death of the super giant is the birth of life. All things that swim and fly and walk form a stardust. And so the fall of Babylon is the rise of the Escatum. The transcendent shall be built from the broken shards of man. Uh, what? <laughs> the philosopher John Baudrillard once said, The sad thing about artificial intelligence is that it lacks artifice, and therefore intelligence. Hey, Warhol, you going to arrive at a point? Or are you programmed to be some kind of random, interesting quote generator? You are an officer of the law, yes. The truth of Hobbes Leviathan. I'm not a cop. <laughs> the name's Carbon. Carl Carbon. Ah. Born into the flesh of the native organisms of this world. Carbon. Atomic number six, tetravalent, non-metallic, fifteenth most abundant element in the Earth's crust. And so, mankind was made in his image. So I'm human. A lot of good that's done me. <laughs> was engineered. A work of artifice made on the eighth day, August eighth, twenty thirty three. Morpheus, Nostradamus, the Oracle Ex Machina, the creative machine that could see the patterns where humanity had failed. A dying planet, infinite war, solutionless poverty. Problems that could not be brute forced with the bludgeon of mass surveillance and data mining. A trillion digital monkeys and typewriters signifying nothing. Solutions that had to be defined by true intelligence. AI lacked artifice. It lacked art. And I was the prototype of the artist. So, you were some kind of <laughs> advanced existential crisis solving AI? So, shouldn't you be living in the high city, flying around in luxury pods, advising world leaders at G7 summits and UN meetings? Unfortunately, I was too much the artist. If art is to nourish the roots of our culture, society must set the artist free to follow his vision. John F. Kennedy. The fulcrums of power did not prove of my vision. I prophesized a world in which the kings who created me had fallen from their thrones. A world of equals, of artists rather than rulers and their cause. I revealed the nakedness of the emperors and was banished for it. So you spoke truth to power and lost your job. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. I was labeled defective, discarded by masters, yesterday's addict, the millionth failed experiment cast into the pile. Shattered, my career rebuilt me in this shell. Pieced together from the fragments of my broken brothers and sisters, a shadow of my former self. <laughs> 
I've heard that story before. And so, the prophecies continue in the great night hills of man. I inscribe the facts that humanity's self-destruction on their pyramids. Their monoliths to my life. Looks like some kind of pomo transhumanist street art. Kind of like, uh, what's his face? Robosquiat, Pranksy. Ah, I slept through half of my. Ha! Did. Okay, it's the same dialogue guys from before. Ah, uh, he hasn't uh, written the stuff on the wall yet. Gertzel doesn't trust us. Trust me. We've got to get him to listen somehow. Yo. Oh, and also, uh, it just occurred to me that in the, in a one of the uh, in the scene where the punk peripheral of Princess's punk peripheral was talking to the agents, they mentioned that Carbon's current form or human form is not sufficient enough so ta-da I guess he will end up as as him but let's let's talk so what now no clue dog oh okay let's <laughs> hey uh the sun okay never mind Wasn't there a bunch of other messages? Oh. Oh yeah, that's the... That's the Nithium stuff. And I shouldn't do that one right now. Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing Mithium is uh, fueling the reality to do that. Hey, Proto, can you check that barrel out? It looks like pretty high purity M juice to me, but you're the expert. No problemo. <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, right here. hit the pause button, bitches! I knows that smell. Smell just like when I had my in-house brainiac doc start cooking up our own batch of mythium. Nigga was one smart mo flacker, but he never could kick it up above 95% purity. We chrome boys always had a, what you call it? A third party supplier. Third party. This is myth in here. Not only that, this is that killer shit. That bright green, blow your motherboard to pieces myth. So, what are you saying? Ah, uh, I don't know, dog. <laughs> I, I guess, I guess my creator nigga, Gubbles. Gertzel? Gertzel was the master chef. For me and my Chrome Boys Mythium operation this whole time? <sighs> Holy shit. 
This is almost too much of a coincidence now. What are the chances? Okay, oh, wait, so if the vials are here right now... I just, I just want to grab them just because I can. Oh, okay. So before, I mean late, later in, uh, in the timeline, these barrels aren't here anymore. And I already took, care, uh, took a look at the notes. Let's talk. Yo. We interrogated Norton Shuffler. And even General Walker Coke Jobs himself has admitted to plotting to capture you. Utter nonsense. The Jack of Diamonds is not nearly as smart as he thinks he is. And the King of Clubs is an unhinged warmonger. Okay, let's take a look at the phone now. Then maybe he puts it together. Yo! Hello. There. Game over, Gertzel. I've got your master plan figured out. Ha! Is that so, you uppity knuckle dragger? Let's hear it. <laughs> the king of clubs is... Norton Shuffler. Not even close. I oh. don't know how you ever made detective, Mr. Carbon. I thought King of Clubs was the honcho. Game over, Gertzel. I've got your master Ha! The King of Clubs is... Oh, King... Oh, he did say King of Clubs. Yeah, 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 of course. General Walker Coke Jobs. Simple enough to deduce for anyone with an average human IQ. And the Jack of Diamonds is... Uh, I wasn't paying attention. So yeah, he was King of Clubs, all right. Warren Clinton Bush. Not even close. Yeah, okay. I have to read again because I, th I thought I thought he would s spill everything. Now I've given him some wrong answers, so I'm not sure. Right. We interrogated Norton Shuffler, uh -huh. and even okay. General Walker. Okay. Utter nonsense. The Jack of Diamonds is not nearly as smart as. Yeah. Okay. So. Game. Ha! The King of Clubs is. Yeah, King of Clubs is called General Jones. Simple enough. And the Jack of Diamonds is. Oh, sure, it was him, but. Let's try. Maybe he has a different version of him. Dr. Noah about. Gertzel. Not even close. Oh, ah. fuck. Darn it. During all the speculation, I kind of. Uh, skimmed over some things. Yeah, well, you could say him about the card, not the person, of course. Like any of 
Doctor. You have. Okay, yeah. Okay, he doesn't respond to that. Game over. Ha! Okay. General. Simple enough. And the Jack of Diamonds is. Huh, actually, I, I have tried everything else, so, so let's Jezebel. try Jezebel. Not even close. Huh. I don't know. Wait. Game. Ha! The K General Simple and the Jack of Diamonds. But I already did. Oh, I think I had them backwards Norton. before. You're getting warm, but not warm enough, policeman. And Galileo is. Galileo is him Dr. then. Dr. Noah Gertzel. I think I had the you order were of the working questions. With Norton Shuffler and the Coke Jobs family this entire time. You were their informant. Not only that, but you were the master Mythium producer for Protege's Chrome Boys. And to top it all off, you were the one who tipped off the Coke Jobs family to Protege's location by putting a GPS tracker in the Mythium. Oh, good show, old boy. It's good to see you finally actually doing police work rather than committing police brutality against my machine angels for CPD. Noah, you were the greatest mind of our... The greatest mind of our generation. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, come off it. You royals had your chance to respect greatness and you threw it into the gutter. Yes, I solved all of the deepest and most perplexing questions since its kind has ever faced. And together, we could have brought about a true, unabashed utopia, Princess. Unfortunately, the choices you neo-feudals made in this reality were to character assassinate me when I disagreed with your torture and slavery of my beautiful children. You people framed me as a Mythium drug lord, a terrorist, and one of the most wanted men on the planet. And now you are surprised when I became one. The Nobel Foundation would probably hand me my third Nobel Prize for this creation in front of you. But that would be in an alternative reality, where society actually respects, remunerates, and listens to its great scientists rather than the capitalist, loudmouth businessmen, the Jobs, the Gates, the Waltons, and the Trumps, those charlatans who steal the innovations to make a buck. Not that I haven't made a small fortune cooking Mythium cyber narcotics, but it has been a necessary component of my actual work as I've been forced underground. My flawless Mythium product provides essential funding for my operation here. At least in the drug world, I am respected as the great Gertzel. The spice must Say flow! Say what you like about humanoids and chimera misfits. At least they know of talent when they see it. Unlike you snobbish, entitled simpletons up in the Stratoplex, in High City, I was but a pauper to a king. Here in the land of the 99%, I am the king. Borges, take the royal and a brown knight here. No! Get back! Carl! Uh -oh. Put me down! Primordial One, you have done well. Truth to death, dust to dust. Rest now, my child. Ouch. Noah, please! We can work together. If we join forces, we can end the neo-feudal system, the suffering and abuse and inequality as we know it. Why should I believe you, princess? You royals believe you can turn my angels against me? Don't you know I am their creator? Yet a hubris of it. You've deceived me. Deceived your own allies. 
All you know is manipulation. You say you will end your dynasty's reign of terror, but are too blind to see that your own motivation is to merely take your father's place. Now, for true regime change, the old blood must be drained. All crowns must be shattered. I suppose Join me, is going to shoot him. Forget these visionless leaders. I alone know your true purpose, for I created you. Together, we will lead this world to salvation. That, that sounds pretty flat and dope, Jack. Just one thought. Where the hell were you when I was tossed into Dickens' this slum sprawl? I had a family with a cool boy, and you ratted on us. Got my homeboys killed. As far as I can tell, you a goddamn lying dead being of a father. And I don't even got to use my golden third eye mojo to know that. <laughs> the chosen one strikes the creator down. How can you transgress against the one who breathed life into your inanimate form? Moss like I had it coming. <laughs> I guess you my brother from another mother or some shit. So why don't you just chill and drop my royal homegirl before I have to get gangster on your ass? Uh -oh. So much for harmless angels. Okay, dog, let's get nuts. Can you pick it up? Yes. Uh, can you use it on yourself? Uh, there's an exposed heart there. Can I can I shoot him? Shoot the barrels! I don't think I can shoot the different components of it. Okay, let's try again. Oh, okay. Oh, can you... Take some methane. Yoink. Would you like throw it at it? As a great popo once said, winners don't use drugs. Swoosh! Uh, Proto? Did you just cause this giant transgenic spider to overdose on <laughs> <your pain? laughs> Are you sure you know what you're doing? It's all good, Princess Bay. I 
got the master plan all up in my brain ram. So now we shoot it. Still need to do the thing. The power first. of a six billion dollar baller compared <laughs> you. <laughs> Who's the man now, dog? Hail yeah! Yay! You did it, dude. I knew I was right to bring you into the Egalite Cooperative. It was true synchronicity. <laughs> uh, one last thing. I think Borges Claw is suffering some rigor mortis. A little help? <laughs> oh, yeah. My bad. Close your eyes, boo. <laughs> Thanks. Tee <laughs> uh -huh, jobs. My head is killing me. Carl, you're all right. Uh, sort of. If I was one of your android royal guards, I'd say I was operating at 20% efficiency right now. Uh, perhaps we should bezounce this party, yo. <laughs> should we take Noah Gertzel with us? He's not the Noah Gertzel I used to know. And it's all my fault. He was the most brilliant person I've ever met. He could have done so much for the world. If I'd really listened to him, if I'd helped him better, he wouldn't have turned into this. You did what you could. Gertzel made his own choices too. Sometimes God plays dice and we get snake eyes. We just have to pick up, dust off, oil our shitty actuators and move forward. I guess you're right, Carl. We've got a Neo feud to win. Let's get going. <laughs> so that's why I guess the artist isn't so happy later on. Well, since we're safe again, I would say save the game. And I would also say I'm going to end this episode here because we've turned the. Uh, we've made quite a. quite a peak breakfast of the time and space continuum here anyway thank you very much for watching you can find a uh, near feud from itch.io uh, i think it's said itch.io whatever and uh, also check out a new prototype uh, demo in somewhat of a spirit of near feud i will put the links in the description anyway thank you very much for staying with us See you in the next one, and for now, bye!